Heinrich Rudolf Hertz, one of the pioneers in the field of electromagnetics, was born in Germany in 1857. Right from the childhood, he showed keen interest in sciences. During his stay in Munich, he studied under the great minds of Gustav Kirchhoff and Hermann Helmholtz. While he was an assistant under Helmholtz, he was suggested to work on proving the Maxwell's theory of electromagnetism, which predicted the existence of EM waves moving at the speed of light. Hertz tries to tackle the problem of famous Berlin Prize on electromagnetic effect, which deals with the polarization and depolarization of insulators. This would finally lead to the proof for Maxwell's theory. While Hertz was experimenting with pair of rice spirals, he noticed that discharging a Leyden jar into one of the coils would produce a spark in the other coil. He then comes up with an idea for the apparatus for proving the famous Maxwell's theory. For the apparatus, he used an oscillator made of polished brass knobs, each connected to an induction coil and separated by a tiny air gap over which the sparks could leap. Hertz reasoned that if Maxwell's predictions were correct, electromagnetic waves would be transmitted during each series of sparks. For this, Hertz made a simple receiver of looped wire, at the end of which were small knobs separated by a tiny gap. The receiver was placed several yards from the oscillator. According to theory, if electromagnetic waves were spreading from the oscillator sparks, they would induce a current in the receiver loop thus producing sparks across the gap of the receiver. This occurred when Hertz turned on the oscillator, producing the first transmission and reception of EM waves which are radio waves at ultra high frequencies. By measuring the length and velocity of those waves, he showed that the nature of their vibration and their susceptibility to reflection and refraction were the same as those of light and heat waves. As a result, he established beyond any doubt that light and heat are nothing but electromagnetic radiations. This invention would later pave the path to wireless technology, audio, radio and television. Through these experiments, he found that non-conductors allow most of the waves to pass through them, whereas electrical conductors reflect the waves and this can be used in focusing by concave reflectors. He also noticed that when UV rays hit charged particles, they lose their charge, which means he made the first discovery of the photoelectric effect. Scientific community remembers him in the unit of frequency, Hertz, which was named in the honor of him. Thank you.